Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm fine, how about you? I'm fine, how about you? I'm fine, how about you? How are you today? Good to see you everyone. Well, today I have a basket full of things. Yes, Sam, let's take a look at it together. What do we see? Oh, what do we have? It's a oh, flashlight. Okay, and I see a cell phone. And oh, look at this Sam. Sandwich. And apple. What else? Let's see. Ooh, band aid. You need this. And look. Oh, teacher Sam gave me a Christmas card. And my friend Aaron drew a picture for me too. These are a nice special present. And oh, and the flowers. Well, Sam, when I'm looking at all these things, this reminds me of what Jesus teaches us in the Bible. So let me share these, uh, some of those with children. And maybe you can wait over here. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Sam. All right. Okay, well, when I look at, oof, this light. Well, this light reminds me of Jesus telling us to shine our light so that others can find God and learn to follow Him. And, um, and with food. Jesus asked us to feed those in need of them. Do you know that there are so many people who cannot have food on the table every day? So it's good to remember, especially during this season, cold season, right? Okay, and uh, ooh, cars and picture and flowers. Well, Jesus asked us to um, love others. Well, especially those who are mean to us. Remember, Jesus loves everybody. With his help, we can do that too. And, oh, band-aid and cell phone. Help those in need, Jesus says. Well, it could be owie on the body or um, sad and lonely heart. We can pick up the, the phone and say, how are you doing? We're thinking of you. We're praying for you. We can do that. Well, Jesus teaches us so many wonderful and important things. He is a great teacher. This is a sign for teacher. And in Hebrew language, you say rabbi, which means teacher. Now today, teacher Evelyn has a story about a uh, beautiful teaching uh, that Jesus gave people on the mountain. So let's listen. Morning boys and girls, how are you doing this new year? I hope you are having a great start to the year. This year we are going to learn more about the names of God from the I Am book which I have here, which I'll also be reading to you today. Well kids, I have a question for you. Do you like to learn new things mm -hmm. and what do you like learning about most well for teacher Evelyn I like learning new recipes so because I love food so if I want to eat a particular dish I will go on the internet I will go to YouTube and look for the best recipes or when I miss my mom's cooking I will go call my mom and ask her for the recipe and she actually gave me her recipe books, which I have here. And I really love looking through her recipe books and she has so nicely written it for me. These books are so precious to me because all her home cooked dishes are in here. And sometimes when she visits me, I'll ask her to cook my favorite dishes and I'll stand over her and I'll be watching her cook all my favorite dishes and I'll learn. See, many of us, as we grow, we will learn different things from different people. As parents, we'll teach our children 
to ride bikes, to walk, to hold a pencil. While our teachers in school will teach us ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and when we go to Sunday school, our Sunday school teacher and our volunteers will help us learn about God's Word. So today we are going to learn that Jesus is often called a teacher. He taught his disciples all about God and his word and his love for them. Well, if you're ready, let's turn to our I Am book to page 134. Today I'll be reading from the I Am book. It's called Teacher, Rabbi, Learning from Jesus. When Jesus visited a town, he often went to a synagogue to teach about God. People loved to listen to him, and crowds began to follow him as he went from place to place. One day, Jesus went up a mountainside and sat down. He called all his disciples to him and began to teach them. Everyone listened to what Jesus had to say. Jesus taught about God's kingdom. God blesses you when you depend on him, he said and when you want what is right and good. So be kind and forgiving and always follow God. Jesus taught about helping others. Let your light shine so that others can find God and follow him too. He said, give what you can to help those in need, but don't make a show of it. Don't give to get praise for yourself. And then Jesus taught about how to treat our enemies. Love the people who are mean to you, he said, because God loves every person. Pray for your enemies and do kind things for them. Jesus taught about money. Spend your money on what is good, he said. Use it to help other people, not just yourself. Don't keep your money to yourself. If you love God, you can love money too. So Jesus taught us more. He taught us about worry. God takes care of all the flowers and the little birds in the sky. He said, so he will certainly take care of you. You do not need to worry. God and his ways, he will make it right for you. And then God will give you everything you need. Wow, isn't that amazing that he knows what we need even before we do? Jesus taught about prayer too. Pray like this, he said. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Kadosh, remember holy? Kadosh. May your kingdom come soon and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Matthew 6, verse 9 to 13. Jesus had so many things to teach his followers. He gave them an important rule. We call it the golden rule. And it says, whatever you would like others to do for you, you do for them. And this is how God wants you to live. As Jesus reminded everyone that God is good, ask, seek, and knock. He said, God is your good father. He wants to give you good things, and he will. In this story, we learn that Jesus was teacher. In Hebrew, you will call him Rabbi, in sign language, you will call him teacher. It's about God's kingdom. He talks about loving our enemies and spending our money on what's good. He taught us not to worry. And he finally taught us how to pray. Just to name a few. Do you know that Jesus in the Bible was the wisest and he was the best? And the students were his disciples. He listened to Jesus' words and they watched what he did. And that's how they learned to do the things that please God's heart. And that is how we can learn from Jesus too. Now, here's the fun fact. Did you know that when Jesus was 12 years old, he was talking to the teachers in the temple. 
The teachers were amazed at what he was saying. Even for a young boy, Jesus was very wise. Well, let us learn from him. If you're ready, let's pray. One, two, three. Fold, fold, fold your hands, fold your hands and pray. Close your eyes and bow our heads. Let's talk to God today. Dear God, we want to thank you, Lord, for being our teacher. We ask that God, you teach us what is right and good. Father, help us to know right from wrong. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, to, that God, you will teach us more and more about you, Lord, because we love you so much and we want to know you more. So God, we just pray that even as we go through this week, as we go through each day, God, you teach us a little bit more of you every day. You love us so much, and we love you too. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, kids, that's all we have the time we have for today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Enjoy some time of worship before we find out what Teacher Jono has to say. <laughs>